NTPC, the largest power utility of the country with presence in coal, gas, hydro, solar and wind power generation and coal mining presents the stimulating competitive quiz for young budding professional students. The event attracted participation from the leading institutions from across the country. I'm sure that it has been a very, very, and it's involving and entertaining and enjoying moment for all of uh, who those who are present here and uh, who has been watching this. I'm given to understand that there has been uh, almost uh, hundreds of teams and out of that at the end there has to be winner is going to be only one. But I'm sure that uh, the kind of involvement it is there, everybody should feel as a winner. NTPC Electron Quiz generated a lot of interest and brought the best minds under one roof. Around 250 teams participated from all over the country. These teams went through the preliminary written objective type questions round. Each team had two participants. They are the winners of the regional competitions held at the six regional venues of NTPC, Kolkata, Mumbai, Patna, Lucknow, Hyderabad and Noida. Let's meet the participants and here begins the Electron Quiz Show. Uh, we participated in the regional finals uh, for the NTPC Electron Quizzes at Mumbai. Uh, it was a great experience, uh, there were a lot of teams, it was a good quiz and we uh, happened to gain a lot of knowledge through it. As we came to know about this kid, we started our preparations with all those stuffs, magazines, newspapers and we have competed with all those 42 teams were there. This is a nice initiative and it has been continuing for a long time. Like uh, there are a lot of biz quizzes which keep on happening all over India. But this quiz is different because it's probably the first time a PSU has taken a lead to do something of this kind of magnitude. It's heartening to see a PSU like NTPC trying to look for the overall development of students. It's probably the first time that the PSU is taking such a venture into in such a large scale. We are very pleased to be here and we're very excited to be part of this venture. This is the first time in the NTPC Electron quiz and it's been a really gratifying experience. Uh, we had a really thrilling prelims and, uh, and uh, now we are here. Uh, let's see. Uh, looking forward to a really electrifying quiz. The quiz competition aims to encourage students to explore their knowledge in various disciplines. Questions were asked from almost all genre. Art and culture, literature, corporate business, news events, science and technology, education, music, film and entertainment, politics, sports and many more. Top six teams out of these competed in the regional finals. There were three teams from each region. They competed in the three semi-finals. The national emblem of the country of Pakistan. It had four major crops depicted on its national emblem. Out of the four, three of them I have told you about. It's cotton, jute and wheat. So which is the fourth crop? Team number two, NIT Raurkela for their direct answer. So uh, we are guessing this is the Basmati rice. The Basmati rice is incorrect. Good thinking, by the way. Moving on to team three, Techno India. We are guessing millets. Millets. No, it's not millets. Let's have a look at the answer on screen. And the crop is tea. Let's go to question two, please. Now, this street in London is famous for manufacture of something. We are guessing Savile Row. You are guessing absolutely all right. Let's clap for them. This is Savile Row, the destination for a high end men's suit. Next up is the direct for team number 5 uh, who get to choose their favourite number. 12. 12. Question number 12 for team 5. Now these notes are not legal currency tender and generally uh, widely used in Chinese custom. What are these banknotes called? Team 3 has gone for the pounds this time. Let's have a quick look at their answer. Minus 10 points to team 3, that's the wrong answer. These are known as hell notes or hell bank notes. Very, very important in Chinese custom. All right then, next up is a direct question for team number five. The Buyu has been traditionally the currency of Algeria till 1848. Now the Buyu was replaced by X. It was called the Dash currency. 
This is a direct for team one answer. This is a French franc. Let's clap for team number one, they get their 10 points. Which American girl group recorded the global brand anthem for Barbie in 2014 called Anything Is Possible and they have been featured here as metal dolls. RAIT Mumbai has gone for the pounce. Well done. Let's clap for team number five. They're absolutely right. Team number four, can we get an answer from you? Posh girls. No, do I am luck now? Pussycat dolls. Pussycat dolls. I love one of them at least. No. Fifth harmonic. Let's have a look at the answer on screen. 10 points to team one and 10 points to team five. Next up is a direct question for team number five. Very famous musician became the mutual fund giant's new spokesperson and released this album called Never Stop Doing What You Love exclusively for them. Which legendary musician is in question? All right, team six, laid bus there. Wonderfully done. 10 points. Correct for team five. Answer? Bono. Bono. I love him, but not the right answer. Audience? Sir Paul McCartney, I love the way you say that. Perfumes and traditional itar manufactured in this city is possibly the most famous in India. Have been supplying these items to the Mughal kings for over three, four hundred years. And this is in effect known as the perfume capital of India. What's your answer, team one? Is it Kannauj? They move up to 45 points. Answer on the screen, please. Kannauj perfume. I'm looking for the name of a company. The company manufactures these aluminium cases, which has appeared. My God, team one, they have gone for the buzzer. Yes, team one. Uh, this is basically Halliburton. Well done, they qualify. Zero Halliburton. Well done to them. You'll have to choose a number from the grid though. 17. What was first antiseptic disinfectant? The original formulation contained creosols. The formulation may still be available commercially in some parts of the world. Formulations containing chlorophenol are still available though in the United Kingdom. Team one, may I have your answer please? Dettol. Dettol is incorrect. Moving on to team two. It's not Savlon, by the way. Moving on to team uh, Bits Pilani. Zyklon. Team six. Well done. 10 points to Osmania Medical College. Wonderful answer there. Next direct question is actually for team three. The Pearl River flowing into the China, South China Sea has sustained the Chinese civilization for years and for decades. But of late, this place has been, this river, the Pearl River, has been absolutely turned, the water has been turned into blue and black. Question is, what is the name of the place and it is the manufacturing capital of the world for what product? Team 6. Manufacturing capital of jeans. Jeans or denim, okay. And uh, this is uh, Xi'an. Xi'an. Alright, so let's clap first for Team 6, they've got one part, right? People who are fans of the Levices and the uh, other uh, high-end brands, please do not think they are manufactured somewhere in Italy and in US. They actually are manufactured in a small little suburb of China called Zingtam, and that is known as the denim capital of the world. Let's go to question number 20 now. General manager at uh, Rays and Stark Park, his name is Martin Rees. He is the only one in entire America to actually practice this job. All right, I think I'm going to close the pounds. Yes, team one. He tastes what Donald Trump drinks, basically. All right, moving on to team six. So he's a water sommelier and he sells water. Water sommelier, and they are absolutely right. He is the only water sommelier. He actually tastes. And finally, top six teams made it to the grand finale. First question, team number one, here it comes for you. In 1852, Two partners formed a company in Springfield to produce something which operated on liver action and they nicknamed it the Volcanic X. Which company and which product? Since it's a direct for NIT seal chart, may I have an answer from you? Uh, Smith & Wesson. And what do they manufacture? Guns. 
Well answered, Team NIT Seelshaw. You get your opening 10 points right then. Moving on to the next question, which is a direct for Team 4, RAIT Mumbai. Here it comes on your screen. This high ankle leather boots with suede or leather uppers were originally worn by British forces in Western Desert Campaign during the Second World War. Hence their name. What are such boots called? NIT Seelshaw. Well done to you, 10 points. Chakka boots is what they are called. Next question is Starlet, Kaluga hybrid, American Ocetra, Ocetra and Servuga are all well-known varieties of something. All that you have to do teams is tell me what are these different types of and in the series, which is the most expensive one? This is KVR and Beluga KVR. Beluga. Well done, 10 points. The most expensive one actually in this category is the Beluga Sturgeon, which is found extensively in and around the Caspian Sea. Let's quickly go back to the second round. All the best once again to all the teams. Here comes your question on the screen. This gentleman born into a Parsi family is originally from Mumbai and a member of something known as the Bombay Heritage Committee as well as the Latians Banglo Zone Review Committee. Who is seen here receiving his Padma Bhushan in January last year? Who is this person? Team 3, Osmania, please answer. Hafiz Contractor. Hafiz Contractor. You are guessing it all right. Well done, 10 points to you. Hafiz Contractor. Let's quickly go to the third round, which I call the fast and the curious. Fingers on your buzzer sets. First question of the buzzer round. Here it comes on your screen. Also known as Team 1 Answer. Markel Emoticon. We'll give you your 10 points. All right, question number three of the buzz around. Here it comes on the screen. A common tool in Japan. What are these machines used for? Yes, team one, once again, quickly. So it's used for making sushi. Well done, 10 points once again. Sushi machines. Next question. Look sharp. Pictured here. Yes, NID Raukela. Quick answer. This is a Hulu. Well done, 10 points now. 10 points, Hulu. We are going to go quickly to the fourth round, which I call Flag It. What is your favorite country and hence the flag? Choose. Here comes a question. Which global giant founded in 1981 owns all these companies called Jaybird, Cytec and Life Science? Yeah, we are guessing this is Logitech. You are guessing absolutely all right. Well done. 10 points to you as well. Logitech. Next up, we come to Osmania Medical College. Forming a major part of the economy of that country, the term Panamax and its variations like Neo Panamax, Post Panamax are popular in the country. What does this term essentially refer to? What are the So these are all ship sizes. Basically, the Panama Canal has certain width. It can allow ships of certain sizes to go through it. So these do not... So as per, as per your answer, these are the sizes of ships. That go through the Panama Canal. Ladies and gentlemen, this team cannot be stopped. Well done. Incredible answer. Points to Osmania. Only one choice remains, and that is going to be Pinia. In whose defense did the ever so effervescent Subramaniam Swami tweet this? He is not Kenyan citizen, but was R3, uh, but uh, R3 was born in India and chose to continue uh, his US green card, etc. etc. Is it uh, Raghuram Rajan? Raghuram Rajan is incorrect. It's Moving Urjit on Patel. to. It's Urjit Patel. Urjit Patel, well done! Just missed that. Urjit Patel will give 15 points to FMS Delhi. So then, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the last round of the quiz. I call it just listed. First question to NIT Seelshaw on your screens now. Bollywood actresses and their film production companies. Your time starts now. Lara Dutta, Bhigi Basanti. Yes, click. Is correct. Move Priyanka on. Priyanka Chopra, Purple Pebbles. Purple Pebbles is correct. Go on. Anushka Sharma, Clean Slate. Click. Is correct. 15 points. Go on. You are about 30 free. seconds down. Diyamirza, Born Free. Dia Mirza, the first one, born free. Is correct, only one more to go. 20 points already. Okay, only one more to go. How much second left? 20 seconds. Uh, Pooja Bhatt, Fish Eye Network. Pooja Bhatt, let's click. Pooja Bhatt and Fish Eye Network. Ladies and gentlemen, 30 points, they have maxed it. They have maxed it. Full 30 points. Next question is a direct for RAIT Mumbai. Here comes your question. Companies who went private, mind you, I'm talking about public companies at one point in time, which were later delisted uh, from any stock exchange. And your time starts now. 
Dell. Let's click Dell. 15 seconds down. It's correct. Go on. H.J. Hines. The next one. Number three. Option three. It's correct. Go on. 25 seconds down. Reader's Digest. Alliance Boots. Okay, let's click Alliance Boots. It's correct. Only one more to go. One more right answer to identify. Okay. Burger King is right. Well done. 30 points. Well done to them. 30 points. Right then, coming back live. Question number five is for NIT Raurkela. Companies which have single letter ticker symbol. Your time starts now. at and Go on. Kellogg's K. The fourth option. Is correct. Macy's. Is correct. Ford. Is correct. Only one more. Gen Pact. Gen Pact. Well done. Full house. We have reached the end of 2017 edition of NTPC Electron Quiz. We have had a very, very fruitful quiz this year. Prizes were given to the winners. We participated and would like to thank NTPC for genuinely conducting such a good quiz and giving us such a platform for sharing knowledge. Sri Saptarishi Roy, Director, HR, NTPC, gave away the cash prizes and certificates. We believe that uh, uh, this kind of activities will promote uh, intelligent minds to, you know, further, uh, you know, uh, enhance their abilities of uh, uh, gainful engagement in this kind of uh, activities, which is uh, very essential, particularly from the point of view of individual development. And uh, not only for the self, but also sitting in the audience, people like us, who are also getting enriched and uh, you know, knowledgeable. Smiling faces after delightful quizzing experience at the NTPC Electron Quiz. Knowledge by its nature is strengthened and reinforced when shared, providing a platform for competition serves as a forum of learning and sharing.